telling me your estimate of the probability of rolling the six. You, you rolled it a hundred times, right? But you're not done. You can't tell me, well, a hundred. That doesn't tell me. It's the percentage of times it turned up six out of a hundred. I mean, it's okay. just that's what you meant, times. right? Yeah. Right. I was looking for the articulation as well. Okay. okay. So the percentage of times it comes up is a six. Now, if you roll ten times, a hundred times, a thousand times, or ten thousand times, the proportion of times the roll comes up a six, it's, it's going to wander around some number, right? And that wandering around is going to be larger if you do a few rolls, and then it's going to gradually settle down. Everybody agree with that? Okay. Anybody have a problem with that? Okay. Now, imagine that you just keep doing it. 10,000, 10 million, 10 to the 50 billion rolls. You, your grandkids, the entire future of the species is devoted to rolling a die. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it's really not going to move around a whole lot. And that, what we call, is convert we call that convergence, right? And in fact, that proportion converges to a, what does it converge to? A, starts with an L, ends with an image. There you go. <laughs> and so, what do you think that limit is? Excellent. Yes, between zero and one, ideally inclusive, but yes. But what do you think we're going to call that limit? We're going to give it a name, and we're going to call it probability. That is defined to be the probability of rolling a six on any one roll. Does everyone see that? It's a definition of probability that does not use likelihood or any synonym thereof. And it lets you see that there is, in fact, an objective notion of probability that's just basically out there, rather than shorthand for just a proportion of time something happens has happened in the past. Um, <clears throat> and that, that's actually the problem, that's the concept that's been used uh, for a while now, but it took, it took centuries to get there. All right. So, in general, there you go again, it's, uh, it's a likelihood between zero and one, where zero is the impossible event, one is the certain event. In order to help us um, talk about probability, we need quite a bit more terminology. An experiment is a process that gives us a predefined set of outcomes. Um, so if I roll this once, that's an experiment. If I roll it 10 times, you can define that as an experiment. The problem is it has a lot more complicated outcomes. Um, the sample space for an experiment is the set of all possible outcomes, and specifically, it's the set of all sample points. Sample points are the simplest possible results. You can't break it down any further. So, assuming that this thing can't land on its side or on a point, how many sample points do we have for rolling a die once? Six. Six. Everybody happy with that? Mm -hmm. So the sample space is? is the set of all possible sample points. What are the sample points? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the sample space. Now, I find it very amusing that uh, in another class, another evening in May class, someone chose to give me presumably what came from a uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, game. So I now have one eight-sided <laughs> um, die and a six sided. So these are different. And let's say we roll both of them. This is eight sided, this is six sided. How many sample points are there? Together or separately? Sample points 
Well, this rolling a six is not the same thing as this rolling a six. 48. So, what's that? Forty-eight. And how'd you get that? Because it's a set that you can get a one or a one, a one or a two, a one or a three, all the way up, and then you have to click. Very good. So each one of these can take on a different value. Each one, this can take on a different value. And so, right, you've got six times eight different outcomes. The rolling two gives you a somewhat more complicated um, sample space, but it's still something you can work with. Now, as we're going to see, presumably before the break, speaking of, do we have any, is there anybody here who's responsible for reminding me when it's 7.15? Um, That's you? Okay. <laughs> Good job. Uh, uh, so, um, so the sample point is 48? No, sample, sample space. space it consists of 48 sample points. Okay. One sample point, for instance, is getting a 1 and a 1 on, on the different ones. Another sample point is getting a 2 on the 6-sided and a 5 on the 8-sided. And it's a different sample point if you get a 5 on the 6-sided and a 2 on the 8-sided. 